ever since I was been a, a, a child, uh, you know, I, I always knew I was going to be in the forces. I always knew I was going to be a special soldier. My military service uh, was in the Royal Marines. I, uh, I joined the Corps in 2005, um, so right in the middle of the Iraq-Afghanistan uh, campaigns. I served for uh, eight years, mainly before two commando down in Plymouth. I come from a military family. Uh, everybody's been in the military in my family, in most of the branches. Uh, so I thought I'd top them all and, uh, and join the Royal Marines. I believe fiercely in what I did as a Royal Marine. So for me, the Corps defined me since I was about nine years old, and you know, to me, it's it still does define me in you know, every decision I make. Because um, I knew exactly who I was in the military. You know, I'd, I'd work up every day, I had uniform, I had a reputation, I knew my identity, I knew where I was going. And that's a very powerful space to live in. My name's Mark Ormrod. I'm a former Royal Marines Commando. And on Christmas Eve 2007, I was injured serving in Afghanistan and as a result became the UK's first triple amputee from the conflict. I was a Royal Marine for just over 11 years and in 2018 I was medically discharged uh, with the diagnosis of complex post-traumatic stress disorder. My time in service was um, relatively high speed. I was straight out the door. Uh, into Helmand province, Afghanistan, into an area called Sangin. A very high speed, kinetic, up close visceral fighting in the corn uh, with fixed bayonets and uh, little air support and all the kind of stuff that's pretty well documented now. Um, that had a pretty profound effect on me. My name is George Sims and I was a Royal Marine Commando. Well, I, I joined the Royal Marines when I was only 18, so I just served, all my service was during the war. This is, this is me being talked to by the Lieutenant. This is the Commando after it had done its first attack and taken its objectives and returned for their second. So it says Royal Marine Commandos regrouping after their first attack. I've got a lifetime memories of them. I'm awake most nights and thinking until midnight, thinking about what went through on D-Day. It was absolutely hell on earth. You could never describe what it was like, honestly. I wouldn't have missed it for anything then, put it out there. It made a man of me. If you'd like to support military charities or veterans like me, please play the Veterans Lottery. Please play the Veterans Lottery. I urge you, go and play the Veterans Lottery. I'd just like to say to you all, from the bottom of my heart, if any of you would like to help the Royal Marine, please play the Veterans Lottery. <laughs>